Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlashShop.com. Fly I'm going to tie for you today is a foam beetle. Very simple fly to tie, even simpler fly to fish. Um, we're going to use some black foam. Uh, it says .49 thickness on it. Not real thick stuff. Uh, I'm going to cut a strip about a quarter inch wide, about I don't know, an inch and a half long there. I'm going to take and cut a little little triangle into the back here. You see how I trimmed that down. This is what we're going to tie in with, with that end. I'm going to start out with some black thread. Just wrap it on. I'm tying this on a size 14 dry fly hook, whatever kind of dry fly hook you prefer to use. I use Daiichi's. I'm going to tie this off. We're going to tie it back to the bend. Cut off our tag. We're going to tie on the foam, like I said, with the uh, triangular end in first. Just gonna wrap it down. Wrap it the whole way down here. Now the next thing we're gonna put on is three pieces of peacock curl. It's gonna make the body on it. Get a better piece. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna take three pieces of the peacock curl and uh, trim the butts off of them. Where it's down to all the iridescent green stuff. Put this on top of the shank here and wrap it down. Wrap it back to the bend of the hook. Okay, now if you watch my print snip and some of my other videos, I'll take and I'll wrap this around the thread to strengthen my peacock curl. So when the fish bites it, it doesn't break it and have it unravel. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap this on. We're going to wrap it up here to the eye. Okay, then we're going to unwind this just a hair. So we can tie it off. Here we're going to tie off all our peacock curls. Okay, once we get them tied off, just going to trim them off. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some legs. What I use for the legs is Krennic material. Um, I get this at the local embroidery shop, sell fabric and stuff like that. Um, you could use some other materials. There's some other materials at the fly shop here that we sell, but uh, this is a nice color I like. It's kind of like um, diamond braid, midge diamond braid actually. I'm just going to cut off a piece of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this over like three times. Okay, if you can see there, I, I just folded it, made a loop. Just folded it a couple times. It's actually going to make three legs. And I'm just going to lay this on top and tie it down. I'm going to tie it in, a, in an X pattern so I get the legs to lay back. Okay, now you'll see here in a minute, we're gonna, you can see there, I made two loops and I have the tag ends coming out here too. Okay, so you're going to actually get three legs out of this here in a second. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my foam and I'm going to pull it up over the top. Now, pull my legs back so they don't get tied down in this. And I'm going to give a little bit of tension on here. I don't want this to be real baggy like, and I'm going to, Soft loop it to start, 
make sure I get it centered on the top and then I'm going to come back and make a couple tight wraps okay now what we're going to do is we're going to make the head on this so we're just going to trim this off right above the eye now as you see here no beetle has a head like that so we're just going to trim the edges back to give it a nice round looking head okay you see we trim that back give it a round head the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little indicator on it and uh, the same kind of foam we got at the craft store this time I'm going to use yellow though going to take a oh about an eighth inch strip a lot thinner strip I'm just going to set it down on top we're going to pull it down get it right down in the same groove that we tied our head down in there keep it centered on the top now this is going to help you see this fly when it's floating down on on the water especially closer to dark and then we're just going to pull this up a little bit and trim that off because we don't need that much of an indicator just need a little bit of visibility on top there okay now I'm going to take and whip finish this and then we're going to trim, trim our thread off we're going to come back in and cut our legs now there's three strands, we're just going to cut them off equal lengths, not real long. And then we'll see here, I'll tilt this over for you so you can see, it gives a nice little leggy look to it. You can see the legs coming off of it, let me put it in the vise a little better for you. You can see your indicator and your legs coming off of it there. It's an easy way to tie the to tie this pattern. Very simple to tie. I have a lot of these in your box. You want to use this as a as an indicator too. Um, I'll float float this on top. Use a nymph underneath it, like a zebra nymph or something. Use this as my indicator. If that goes under, you, you know you're getting a bite on your zebra nymph. Um, this pattern works best when you fish it when you slam it down on the water beetles when they fall out of the trees a lot of times they're not flying real well or whatever and they'll drop onto the water and make a little pop so what you want to do when you when you're doing your false cast your last one you kind of want to smack it down at the water make it hit the water hard a lot of times that'll trigger a fish to bite I uh, hope you enjoyed this very simple pattern to tie um, I catch tons of fish on it right around the 4th of July here in central Pennsylvania it's a great fly to have uh, if you enjoyed what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like us on Facebook at wholesingersflyshop.com. Check us out on our website for all you need for your fly tying needs. Thank you.